So here we are once again guys, welcome back to the channel, we're bringing you yet more Sandship content to get you through the struggles of this game. Now you might have seen since the latest update they've added another level to the Underworld Pit, we can now go to level 5 and we've had plenty of requests from you guys on an updated design to try and start generating the maximum amount of Everstone. And aiming to please as always, we've done just that, we've come up with a really neat design. It's not going to cost too much, it looks very tidy and it's going to appeal to all of your strategic brains out there. So with that being said, let's get straight into our Underworld pit this time. Obviously we can't go to the sandbox building because you can't generate these designs in the sandbox. So into the Underworld pit, we've got a level 5 one ready. As you can see, a big difference as we start to increase on those levels, a lot of space here. So the first thing we're going to do is place down our resonators. We're going to be putting these in a plus formation this time. And we're going to build our design around these to try and defend them as best we can. Now we're only going to be using four synthesizers for this design. I'm going to place one in each corner aside of the resonators themselves. Now there's going to be no fast tech in this design, which is really going to help to keep the cost down. And as we said, it's nice and symmetrical, so we're going to be repeating the pattern all the way around, so it's nice and easy to follow as well. So we can see we're starting to build around the first resonator here. We've got two mechanical assemblers and two turrets, we're putting one in the top right corner and one in the center. And there's a similar theme running through this one. All the synthesizers are going to have two mechanical assemblers coming off them, and as a result, two different turrets that they're going to be supplying. So onto the second synthesizer now. We're again just going to keep repeating this pattern. We're going to put a turret in the bottom right hand corner and then we're going to place another mechanical assembler and another turret in the center bottom of the design to protect the middle area. Moving on to the bottom left synthesizer, again another mechanical assembler. This time it's going to be feeding the bottom right turret here, protecting that bottom corner. And then again another mechanical assembler here, protecting the middle left. As you can see we're using those standard grabbers, as we said, no fast tech required on this design. Really going to help reduce the expenses and it also means a lot of you guys aren't going to have any issues trying to build this if you are below level 15. So as we come up to our final synthesizer here, we put our turret down in the top left corner and we've just got space for one more mechanical assembler and one more turret and that's going to be placed directly in the center top of the design like so. Now we've selected our recipes on all of the mechanical assemblers so we're going to give this a whirl now. And as we can see we're producing 1.25 Everstone per second now that's the top amount of a level 5 underwell pit goes up in increments of 0.25 for every level at the moment and you can see how quickly it was to build this design it's a really simple design it looks great and it protects every area of the underwell pit in an equal measure so there's no weak spots there now one thing to mention about this design is the placement location really affects the amount of everstone that you produce as you can see we're producing 1.25 everstone in this location but if we move it over slightly to the right and try it again we can see that this output has reduced and we're not making as much so it's imperative that you put it right in the center that means having four spaces on each side so with that being said let's take a look at the blueprint and as you can see with the absence of all the fast tech it's a really low cost build to produce and it also only uses seven or so substance so it's really low cost in that expense as well looking at the materials again nothing complex here due to the absence of that fast tech all your basic material types here that you should be able to produce by this stage so again no great obstacles there either we hope you like this one guys we always have fun making new underworld designs can't wait for more future levels to come out We'll be back with our next episode that's going to be all about oil production. So if you haven't already, please stay subscribed and keep an eye out for that one later on. But until next time, thanks for watching and bye bye.